so hello uh, everybody uh, this is uh, shrikant sari uh, so i am doing this tutorial uh, just to uh, help you all guys uh, how to uh, obtain that uh, pass or fail logic in uh, c language okay so here i have an empty uh, c file with all the header files and main function everything uh, loaded up okay so first i am taking uh, an array here uh, so here uh, we are uh, taking an array uh, let's say the name of the array is max and uh, let us uh, think that there are uh, uh, five subjects uh, in a test uh, or uh, every person has uh, five subjects and uh, you might have conducted some test and you have uh, stored uh, all those marks uh, of the uh, students uh, in an array so let us uh, take uh, the marks okay so 36 uh, 67 or randomly i'm taking uh, some five values here okay so here we have uh, we have just an array uh, and we have uh, stored some values here okay now, so next uh, so what we're going to do is uh, let us uh, display all the uh, marks here uh, for this purpose let me take an array sorry a for loop here okay so i'm just declaring a variable and let me take a for loop uh, i is equal to zero sorry i is equal to zero i less than five and i plus plus okay so just with the help of uh, print of statement i'm just uh, printing all the values here okay uh, slash and slash t uh, percentage D okay uh, can say something like this marks in uh, subject percentage D is uh, is equal to percentage T and you can say something like this uh, somewhat uh, meaningful and you can just uh, place I plus one and uh, marks of I okay so to display the content of the array here okay so to run the program if everything goes well uh, since i'm using uh, visual studio so here we have uh, all the marks of the subjects displayed i'm just uh, increasing the content uh, of the window here just about all the previous settings uh, screen text blacks and let us make it to background as white here okay so look uh, somewhat beautiful okay so here we have uh, all the marks of the subjects which we have uh, taken uh, in the array which we have initialized the array with all the marks of the subjects here okay so what happens here is uh, so here uh, we need to write uh, some logic uh, such that uh, the result uh, should be pass or fail or something like this okay so at the end of the uh, so if you take any typically uh, the, the subjects uh, at least uh, in our country india uh, if the marks are less than uh, 35 uh, so the, the result is uh, less than 35 minutes it's fail and more than 35 minutes pass okay so in this case uh, uh, the students is passed on all the subjects so if you want you can uh, change uh, any uh, anything and if you, if he uh, if he uh, if he go, gets uh, marks something like this and if you uh, execute the program uh, you might you should get the result as failure okay because in the subject one he has obtained uh, marks less than 35 here okay so that's what the logic we are going to uh, develop now uh, with the help of again uh, for loop uh, since i'm taking a for loop once again because uh, here we are uh, uh, store the marks using an array so uh, for loop is a mandatory thing because you need to scan uh, each and every element in the array and check whether uh, uh, the value is less than 35 or uh, something like this okay so i less than 5 and i plus plus okay so i less, I less than 5 and i plus plus uh, so what i'm doing is uh, Okay, so within the for loop, uh, I'm just taking an if condition here. Okay, so if uh, marks of i so less than uh, 35, less than 35. Okay, so you say uh, within the for loop, you take a printf statement here. Uh, let us say a slash and uh, slash and slash t. Uh, you just say fail. Okay so fail the result is failed okay so if that is not the case uh, so the result is so in the else part let us say it's uh, pass okay so if you look if you execute the program uh, we will see what happens uh, so let us say pass okay so we're done with the logic here uh, so there is a small minor problem uh, with this logic uh, once you uh, once we execute the program you'll understand what is the problem here okay so if you run the uh, code here see what happens here okay so what happened is uh, as the logic uh, the student has obtained uh, less than 35 in one subject 
so for this reason uh, it is telling as a fail here and in the rest of all cases it's selling pass 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 okay so this is not the case okay so whether he, if it is if he is fail in one subject he should get the result as fail and if he, if he passed in uh, all subjects also it should not uh, be uh, repeated all the time here okay so in order to uh, obtain a simple solution uh, for this uh, so what would you uh, what would you do is the people might uh, think that uh, they take a flag uh, flag uh, something like this and uh, that that might also not work here okay so if in this uh, case uh, if a student is failed in all subjects okay so let us uh, change uh, the result here or change the array let me uh, make him uh, fail in all subjects okay so uh, if you execute the program what happens here is uh, it, it comes five times as fail 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 okay so this is not a good uh, kind of output uh, which which you want to you uh, to a uh, user okay so uh, in order to uh, sometimes uh, you might think that a flag will work here okay so flag also don't work uh, people uh, tend to keep a flag here and if he is passed uh, so if he is passed uh, they might uh, do something like this okay uh, they might so uh, they might think that uh, they might keep a flag is equal to one if it is passed uh, in this case uh, they might uh, leave uh, something like this uh, if the flag is zero and after coming out of the uh, loop after coming out of the loop uh, they might uh, think that if flag uh, is equal to uh, zero okay so if flag is equal to uh, zero so they th they say that uh, printf uh, slash and slash t uh, failed since uh, we have never uh, uh, any, uh, we have never utilized okay so here uh, since that it never comes to the else loop uh, all the time it is uh, uh, all the subjects have failed here uh, failed or something like this you might think like that okay so let us see what happens if we, by using the flag or kind of uh, thing here okay so in the else case uh, they might uh, keep uh, they might put a result here uh, another print of statement uh, let us say slash and slash t passed okay so in this case uh, this might work because uh, since the student has been failed in all subjects the result is fail here okay so absolutely uh, he had obtained marks all the marks less than 35 see but what happens if he uh, so if he's failed in all subjects and if he's just passed in the last subject okay so let us say 35 here okay so let us let us uh, execute the code here so the result is coming as passed here okay but even though he failed in, he has failed in all subjects the result is uh, coming uh, as 35 here okay so that that's because uh, in the last uh, uh, case uh, the result uh, the marks obtained are not less than 35 and the flag is immediately set to 1 and immediately uh, after coming out of the uh, loop uh, so this uh, else condition says that it fa the condition here fails because flag is set to 1 and automatically uh, it branches you to to this else condition and the result is obtained as uh, uh, the result is obtained as passed here okay so uh, what happens if he uh, so if he passed in all subjects uh, let's say 35 35 35 35 something like this okay so 35 or passed in one subject uh, and failed in all subjects okay so I'm just changing the uh, result here okay so look what happens here uh, again it's coming as passed because uh, if the first time uh, the result is set to uh, 1 okay the first time the result is set to 1 and always uh, the, uh, we have nothing uh, to do with uh, here uh, we have nothing to do with here or also if you want if you keep here flag is equal to uh, 0 in this one and if you execute the code it might say fail here okay so it might say fail here because uh, so the first subject he has passed in first subject, and the rest of the things he has been failed here. Okay. So what happens if he uh, so if he fails in all subjects? Uh, so the, the problem is uh, in this condition also. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, variations here. So if he fails in all subjects, and just if he is passed in uh, uh, one subject, one last subject here. Okay. So again, this might not work because all the time it is set to zero, and in the last case uh, where the uh, where the subject is one subject he is passed, and automatically uh, the result the flag is set to one, and the result uh, uh, might uh, appear as passed here okay so if you run the code you will understand uh, better again if you check here uh, so it has failed in all subjects uh, and the result is uh, coming it as passed here okay so this is not the uh, this is not the perfect solution uh, using the flag so how would you uh, you might think that uh, what is the perfect solution uh, to do that uh, is by using a counter here okay so let me uh, place a counter uh, let me say it says zero okay so uh, 
I'm just taking a counter variable here, a, a variable called counter. Uh, so I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing is, so I'm just uh, incrementing uh, the counter here. Okay, so counter plus plus. Uh, that's what I did here. Uh, so I have just incremented the counter. Uh, nothing I'm doing in uh, uh, else part here. Okay, so uh, if the counter is greater than zero, okay. So the counter is greater than zero. So that's what I'm telling. Is failed else passed okay so uh, what I'm doing is I'm just counting the number of uh, failures okay so if he, even though he's passed in uh, so here if you, obs if you observe here the student has failed in four subjects and he's just passed in one subject okay so what happens here is uh, the, the counter gets on uh, incremented uh, if the keep on the student the result is less than 35 the counter keeps on incremented so if the counter is greater than zero at least if he is failed in one subject also the result should be appear appeared as fail okay so that's what happened here uh, so if I got an error counter, oh, I misspelled the variable here. Okay. So if you uh, execute the code here, the result is perfect. Okay. The past uh, failed. Okay. So if you want to make uh, the result more uh, clear, uh, you can say so failed in uh, percentage D subjects. Okay. So percentage D subjects. Okay. So subjects so failed in percentage D subjects, and if you can uh, after that you can uh, just uh, display the uh, value of the counter variable here okay so if we execute the code uh, once again uh, so exactly the result is the fail in four subjects okay so fail in four subjects so if you count the uh, if, you, if you check the uh, result here uh, exactly the student has obtained less than 35 in four subjects total and the result is perfectly uh, says that he has failed in four subjects okay so if he if, if he even though he has failed in one subject also somewhere in the middle uh, he has failed and uh, so all rest of the rest of the subjects are all uh, perfect uh, he has passed let us uh, change the array of uh, marks something like this okay so uh, if you observe like this uh, he's failed in only one subject uh, the result should be failed and it, the result should uh, say that he's failed in one subject okay so failed in one subject okay so the result is failed the result is failed in one subject okay so that is uh, that is the case okay so you need to solve to summarize once again uh, so here we have taken an array and we have stored uh, with the uh, some marks uh, so if we, uh, the final check uh, let us uh, make him passed in all subjects okay so let's let, let passed okay so passed in all subjects or that's what the result okay so here we intend passed in all subjects if you change the message and if you execute the code so perfectly it says that even if he is passed in all subjects only the result will be obtained as passed so that the reason i have uh, changed uh, uh, there is uh, the statement as passed in all subjects here okay so to summarize uh, once again uh, we have taken an array and we have stored uh, some values uh, imagining that uh, these are the marks of students obtained obtained by a student and we have taken a counter here and with, with the first for loop we have just uh, printed uh, the, uh, the list of marks uh, obtained in subjects and then uh, with the help of that uh, counter uh, we are just keep on counting uh, the number of uh, subjects uh, which he had failed so obviously if he at least he's failed in one subject uh, then the count will be uh, more than zero then the result uh, is failed in uh, one subject or uh, uh, the number of uh, consecutive subjects he has failed else the result is passed okay so hope this video uh, helped you. Uh, so please uh, put your valuable feedback in the comment section and uh, ask all your doubts. I will reply with patience. So see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.